Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today I'm going to be reviewing. Hold on, where is he? There he is. Man Bat from the animated series Batman. So let's get started. Okay guys, so if you're unfamiliar with this character, this is Man-Bat, which is funny because it's the opposite of Batman, and that's um, kind of like ironic with it. But if you don't know, this is a villain from Batman the Animated Series, and then actually there's a bunch of really cool characters from this one so far. They've got Batman, Robin, Batgirl, Poison Ivy, Harley Quinn, and the Joker. It's funny, everything's trademarked on this box, but on the other boxes I noticed that like Robin wasn't trademarked and like a few of them weren't. Maybe it's just because it said Joker, so maybe they didn't put it down on here. But this one does have all of them, and it says they're copyrighted or trademarked and everything. I really do like the Batman animated series logo, how it's got, you know, the little reds. I want to say it's a sun behind him, or just maybe they put the circle there. And then it's got Batman, and he's got his cape swooshed across there. And then it's got Batman, the animated series logo. It looks nice. I really do like it. This is 189 in the Pop Heroes line. Now, if you don't know, Pop Heroes is actually all DC characters. So that's kind of different. I know they do Pop Marvel, but then there's Pop Heroes as well. Maybe they thought they were going to put them all into one big category for all the superheroes, like, you know, DC, Marvel... Um, I don't know what else they'd have though, but maybe just the two of them or like throw them all together just to put them all in one line But I feel like they might have switched that later on or maybe that was just like something they changed later on And then they just kept this one to heroes when I really think it should be pop DC But anyways guys, this is a summer conventions exclusive 2017 now this is if you buy it out of the con I say this every one of my SDCC reviews But instead of um, this sticker being the ones when you buy it in the con This is the one when you buy out out different stores I got this one at EB Games for $15 when they're normally $16, but I have my edge card, so it went down a dollar. But if you want to get this one, you guys can probably pick them up over at your local EB Games or GameStop or Play and Collect, depending on what what or what's closer to you. You can call before you go. They should have one or two in stock. You never know. But this one didn't go as quickly as I thought it would. I, they still had two or three at my EB Games the other day, so I think you guys should be good to pick this one up. But I got this one the day of it opening. And while I was there, the guys that were talking about this one, I'll take him out so I can show you just a little bit better what I'm talking about. But I was in line waiting, and then when we got in there, there was a few guys talking about this character. And they were saying that this one could have been flocked, which would have been a lot better. But maybe they'll do one of these later on down the road. Or his wings should have been out like this, which would have looked even cooler. Because they're right now, like when you stand them up on the shelf like this, they're kind of pushed back. And you can't really tell that they're wings unless you turn them to the side. But these are really cool character. Like it's just such a very different character in general. And now his face has got the big ears coming off the side. Because of course he is Man Bat. And if you guys know that scene from the Big Bang Theory, where um, Sheldon says if Man Bat bit Bat. Batman, no, uh, you know, it's just hard to explain. I'll show you the clip now. If Batman were bitten by a radioactive man bat and then fought crime disguised as man bat, would he be man bat, man bat, man, or simply man bat, man bat, Batman? Is he still wearing the Batman suit under the man bat suit? I'll be back. That is a funny scene. I don't know why I like that so much, but here guys, this is a funny thing. So this one kind of came with a stand as well, which I really do like using on these guys. I don't remember which way it goes. It goes this way here. One, they usually make one foot hole just a bit bigger than the other one, just so you can tell which side it stands on. Now what's funny about this one is normally in the insert where they stand, they give it a little bit of a, uh, of a spot to put the insert in there, like the little base that you can stand them up on, and they put it down there. This one didn't have it, and it was taped to the bottom here on the back in a little, like, almost like plastic kind of like case that you put in, like a little bag. And which is different, but it's okay, I don't mind. Now, guys, there's also the yellow eyes, which are very different. And now the box, guys, for some reason, all the DC boxes come with a Legion of Collectors, um, like, little piece of paper like this. It says for only $25 you'll receive 100% like everything, like all this on sale stuff and join today at Legion of Collectors. I don't understand why they don't update this one because this is still the Batman vs Superman box. They could have put some really new boxes on here. I guess they only really need the one card to get you like enticed to it or whatever. But I feel like they could have picked a better box to show on the front of this and now it goes in every DC box. I feel like they could have changed that a bit. But it is cool to see that they are plugging their other stuff in this. It's just kind of annoying. I don't know if this keeps the value at the same stuff, but I'm going to keep it in there just in case it does. But, you know, this doesn't have anything to do with Man Bat. I just thought it'd be kind of fun to show you that or whatever. But anyways, guys, I'll show you some close-ups and a quick clip of Man Bat from the Batman Animated Series now. Okay, 
guys, so like I said, if you want to pick this one up for yourself, go over to EB Games or GameStop. Sometimes they still have it in stock on the website, and they might restock later on. Also, guys, if you didn't know, Play & Collect is kind of like EB Games is like full on. They just put like a bunch of collectibles instead of video games. There's more video, there's more, what's it called, more like collectibles, like pops and stuff. And my friend went there one time, Luca. He was going to get me the one from, because it does. it's pretty far from me, actually. Like the closest one's like about an hour, an hour and a half away. So I wanted to go there to kind of get in there, and then he said there was a Play & Collect exclusive, which was the um, Volt Boy with the lock in his hand. And I really did want that one, but then I, yeah, I didn't make him get it for me, but I was going to pay him back and everything, but I didn't do it. But they, they do have their own exclusives there, and they do get all the San Diego Comic-Con stuff that EB Games or GameStop will get. So just to put that in mind for you guys, if you ever see one on the road, go stop in. They're really cool. I, I know they're really cool in there just because they have such a big wide variety of pops and stuff and just collectibles in general, mystery minis, all that stuff. But anyways guys, this has been another episode of Top Pops, me reviewing Man Bat from Batman the Animated Series, also SDCC exclusive, but anyways guys, thanks for watching. Now I know I've been doing a lot of reviews lately, but I just wanted to put out all the SDCC ones so you guys could see it later. Maybe if you wanted to buy the pop, get it out there quickly, so that way they'd still be in stores or online or something. But anyways guys, you, you'd understand. Bye! Still got a few more left, yeah.